What's up, y'all? Oh, we looking blurry, too. Hello. Focus on me. Focus on me, girl. There we go. I think we need to name the camera. Because she be she really be acting up. And I think it's because she don't got a name. She's jealous of Blossom. You know, my Kindle. So, I'm going to make a poll. We're going to come up with a name for this camera so she can stop showing out, chill. But... Hello, 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 booktube world. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video. So, we're going on another adventure. <laughs> so, I wanted to do another episode of Letters and Lattes, which, if you don't know, Letters and Lattes is where I go to different coffee shops and I read manga and just like hang out with you guys for the day. However, so if you. <laughs> If y'all here moving around, that's my kittens. I got new kittens, chill. They were supposed to make their debut already, but that video ain't out yet. So, this was going to be a little bit different, though, because it's it's not a coffee shop. It's a bodega. So, like, I'm from Connecticut. I'm from Hartford, if you don't know. I was raised in Hartford and in Clayco in Atlanta. So, it's like a little bit of a mix. But my hometown is Hartford, Connecticut. And in Connecticut, we call, like, gas stations bodegas. And I'm pretty sure they call them bodegas in... New, New York too. I'm not sure if it's like an up north thing. I've never heard anyone down south call a gas station or like a spot a bodega. This is the first that I'm seeing of it. So I really want to take you guys with me. I think it would be fun. So basically this is like it's like a little vegan spot like it's kind of set up like a gas station but they have like healthy smoothies and like vegan foods and snacks and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a little it's like a little healthy gas station, like a vegan gas station, if you will. So, I really wanted to check it out with you guys because it just seems cool. It's not really a coffee shop, but we're on a recovery mission because your girl went out last night. And, you know, I'm not really a drinker. Like, I, I'm a social drinker. Like, if I'm going out and we go out for drinks or if I'm with my family or I'm hanging out with my mother, you know, I might have a drink or two. But your girl is not a drinker. Even when I buy bottles, those bottles, unless they're wine last for months because i'm really just not a drinker but went out last night had a good time with my friend we we had a good time child you know what i'm saying we had a good time but it's recovery it's recovery time you know what i'm saying we drink a lot of alcohol you got to recover like it, it has to happen <laughs> so this is a recovery mission however i do not have a hangover i have not had a hangover since i was like 24 years old i have a hack anytime i go out drinking the night before i go to sleep i chug like a bottle or two of water it's foolproof it's my hack it has it has led me very far i have not had a hangover in like seven years we gucci we locked in so i do not have a hangover i feel perfectly fine however i just want to live i want a little revive you know what i'm saying and vegan and vegetarian stuff really is just like my jazz and i feel like this is really just my vibe so of course i want to bring the island with me you know what i'm saying because the, the videos the content is looking a little crazy right now like my organization <laughs> is looking rough one video went off the kilter and it messed up everything but i'm in the process of filming two other videos for you guys and i have a third video that i'm excited to, to film it's something new but yeah so we're in the process of like three videos so bear with me. we're gonna go back to the drawing board rearrange reschedule and fix some things but at the end of the day i'm not gonna let y'all go two weeks without a video you know what i'm saying that's just that's just bonkers like that's just crazy we gonna make it happen so we're gonna go to this bodega i can't oh i don't know where my phone is but i'll show you guys when we get there we're going to this bodega we're gonna get some vegan food some smoothies we're gonna hang out and we're gonna read so one of the books that i'm going to be reading oh let me grab it too. it's actually up here okay so the book that we're going to be reading for this vlog is Blood on the Tracks, Volume 1. I've heard and seen people have a very visceral reaction to this book and, like, some of the plot twists. So, I'm interested to see what it is. Like, because I, I don't, they don't, like, I, I mute. Like, anytime I see a book that I'm excited for, a book that they're talking about that I find interest in, I will skip the entire part or any clips they have talking about the books. You know what I'm saying? Because the booktubers really just... Sometimes we just give too much away. As you know, I, I want to go into with a blind eye. I don't have, an, I don't want to have an idea of what's going on. Nothing. So we're going into this completely blind. I just know it's following a mother and a son, and it gets dark and twisted. That's all that I know. So I'm interested to see what it's about. I did want to pick up another manga because it's Pride Month, child, and I really wanted to get like a Pride graphic novel. There was this post that I saw on Instagram. 
that had all these graphic novels that were LGBTQIA plus friendly and some of them on there I've never heard of and so I'm interested to see if I can find some because the place that we're going to is Ponce Market and they have a ton of other stores and one of them is a bookstore so I'm gonna pop in there and see what we can find if we can't find nothing there we'll go to Barnes and if we can't find nothing there maybe I'll just like grab something on my Kindle but graphic novels I prefer to have them physically because like the colors and the pictures and stuff like that I would prefer to have the physical book but we will see what the vibes is going to be for the day okay but we're going to get on the road it's a beautiful day outside it's summer child <laughs> it's time to be outside you know what i'm saying so it's a beautiful day outside we're going to go hang out together spend the day together and we're going to read this crazy book and we're, we might pick up another one and i also need to catch up on this but this is probably i'm not going to have this in this vlog but if you don't know me and aaron are going to be doing a live show for the second book in bones to the wind which is dragging your bones this cover please a moment of silence for the cover you know what i'm saying like a moment of silence for the cover it is it, it's, it's simply like please simply gorgeous so i'm gonna be reading that once i finish up this video but it's not gonna be in this vlog but i just want to tell y'all child so we're gonna be doing a live show for that i believe on july 1st i want to say at 1 p.m so be there or be square. You know what I'm saying? If you follow my Instagram, you follow Aaron's Instagram, you'll be up to date on the times and stuff like that. But let's get this show on the road, child. Let's get on, let's get in the car. Let's get get to driving. You know what I'm saying? Alright. I will see y'all in the next clip. Bye. I want that. 
How do I? Oh, these are the drinks. Okay. Charcoal magic goes good with the nachos. Activated charcoal magic your lemonade. Charcoal now. Oh, right. What about what? watermelon sea moss? Mango, Jackson, Patrick Fruit. This one? Ooh, I want that one. <laughs> okay. Otra vez. Me levanto dando vueltas a las tres. Esperando tus mensajes en mi cel. Si hay algo que yo pueda hacer, pueda hacer por andar jugando, no te entiendo y te ando buscando. Si quieres otra vez, dime cuándo, que yo ya me estoy desesperando. Que me estás controlando Ya me equivoqué Todo multiplayer con usted Creyendo que no iba a perder Me dieron ni mover y ni me enteré Ya me equivoqué Todo multiplayer con usted Creyendo que no iba a perder Me dieron ni mover y ni me enteré Después que me pediste que no te traicione Aprovechaste de todas mis emociones
y'all. Okay, so I finished Blood on the Tracks, chill. <laughs> I was trying to download this other graphic novel called, I think it's called Basil and Oregano. It seems like it's like a female-female romance and they have like little Sailor Moon outfits on. It just, it just seems like it's gonna be cute. I ordered it to go to my Kindle because my boyfriend sent me the money to get it y'all you know what I'm saying so he sent it to me to be able to order it but it had credits so it went from being like $11 to like seven or something like that so boom I ordered it it never got delivered to my Kindle so I thought it was because my Kindle was full so I returned like three books and then I went to go reorder it child they already took my little credits away but they never delivered it to my library so I waited to see if it would get delivered and it still didn't get delivered and so I reordered it and it still didn't get delivered to my Kindle. So like, I don't know what the problem is. Like clearly I have cleared space. I ordered it twice and I took my little credits away. So then I was looking up the customer service number. They make it so hard for you to, to find a actual number to speak to a human being because they want you to be able to answer the question on the app before you call so their lines aren't busy so they have all these little buttons and shit where you like you click through it and like maybe you can find the answer online which is like i get it but like if i just want to call and say i ordered a kindle book y'all took my damn credits and i ordered it twice and i still don't have it on my kindle and they didn't even charge my car so i like i really don't know what's going on there but it's already late child my schedule has been a mess but at the end of the day like i told y'all i'm gonna make sure i at least get one video a week it's usually saturdays at 3 30 but it's summertime so you know schedule may vary like schedule may vary because i'm gonna be outside the summer you know what i'm saying so yeah but regardless i'll make sure i always get one video a week for you guys so i wanted to get this video up it's going to be easy to edit and just trying to figure that whole situation out is prolonging it it sucks because i wanted to read it. it seemed like it was cute but i would rather have it physically anyway but i'll figure out how to get in contact with amazon and all that stuff offline but in other news the bodega was so cute it was like in a little corner on ponce market and it just was very like decorative and cool and i feel like i'm definitely going to go back there they had a lot of really cool merch that i would probably pick up like afro latina merch and stuff like that that i can snatch and the owner of the shop she's also an artist so a lot of the artwork there was things that she made or things that she embroidered and the host that was there they were really nice there were so many different types of drinks and so many different like just like I just and I also like the way they had their menu set up like I, I tried to get a b-roll of it but it was like pictures of different celebrities and it had the options like the different types of food and the prices but just the way they had their menu display was really cool I like that and those nachos y'all like i did the little meme like they do on tiktok with the chipotle bowls i'll put up a picture so y'all can see it but that those nachos were so good like it, it had so much flavor i was so full like i was a little bit nervous because i was like i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish this but i loved it like, they were amazing i definitely want to go back there ponce really is just like the vibe and i watched i started watching the perfect fine which if you don't know i i actually read that book last year and it's an adaptation for a book that they just put on netflix and they have gabrielle union starring in it and it's cute like they did really good with like the setup like the set and everything they did pretty good casting i still feel like something is missing from it like i know gabrielle is doing her thing but i'm debating if like they maybe could have got casted a different guy like but the guy reminds me of like diggy mixed with will smith he's like a like he reminds me of them like he, he sounds like will smith and he looks like diggy but yeah it's it's good so far i'm enjoying it so i, I think i have like maybe like 45 minutes left in that movie so i'm gonna finish watching that but blood on the tracks <laughs> child i did not expect what was going on to be going on like i want to read more i want to read the next few volumes like i want to see what else is going to happen but my predictions were wrong my predictions were way too dark like <laughs> I've been reading too much Junji Ito show. I've been reading too much Junji Ito. My predictions were way off. But regardless, it was... I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was something. The ending was very interesting. I'm interested to see 
what else is gonna happen with with the story because it, it was something it really was something but all in all i probably give it i'll probably give it a four it's a four star this was this was good i enjoyed this i'm glad that i got to take you guys along with me until we could that so that we could hang out and we could you know try some food try some drinks the drinks that the drink that i got was really good too i love a good smoothie moment child like i kept that bottle too because that place was expensive so i keep every souvenir i could keep child so i kept a little bottle i give this spot 10 out of 10 it was really cute it was nice i wish it had more chairs and stuff but it seems like they're expanding they had like a little area for like a bakery that they're opening next week that's new so it seems like they are expanding so it's nice to see that the business is doing well but i had a good time it, it was it was fun it was cute it was beautifully set up and i'm glad i got to take you guys with me so let me know in the comment section below if you have read this book child if you have read this book please let me know in the comment section below and if you have read more in the series let me know if it gets better i'm definitely going to be picking up the next few volumes because i want to see what's going to happen but like i said i have a few videos planned i'm going to go back to the drawing board with the mermaid vlog and just try to revamp it i'm not giving up on it but it's definitely just taking more time than i thought it would just because of chain of events okay chain of events social life and just like things that are going on so i just yeah but i'm going to go back to the drawing board and we're going to figure that out but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video please leave this emoji in the comment section below and i will see you guys i will see you guys next week with another video damn i'm still thinking about that ending <laughs> with another video so yeah always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time Okay, bye.